TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, surprisingly, I found another police interceptor. I mean, police uh, interceptors. Somebody just uploaded this literally 16 hours ago. They must watch the channel because I definitely asked. Um, don't forget, we are part of the Blueprint Mastermind. Links in the line, links down in the description to the round tables. That's where we all get together, talk, talk the talk, see what's going on with ourselves. Um, let's just get into this, man. This may very well be the only video that we do today because I did this the night before. So we'll see. Might be another a couple short, another few short ones. Uh, let's go. This is season 19, episode 1. Season premiere. There are more than 6,000 firearms officers in the UK. Two cars there at the moment. The other two cars are traveling from north. In an average year, they discharge weapons at just eight incidents. But when the call goes out, they all know this could be one of them. It's an absolute last resort, but ultimately, yeah, we might have to pull the trigger and it might happen. If somebody points a firearm in my direction or in the direction of a member of the team or a member of the public, it'll be a split second decision. And if we have to squeeze the trigger, then that's what we'll have to do. It's early evening in the Nottingham suburbs. Interceptors Bruce Arnold and Lewis Marshall are racing to rendezvous with fellow firearms officers after reports of a man threatening to kill himself. They need the firearms team to be uh, mobilised and uh, help deal with the incident. The suspect is in a fragile state of mind and has released disturbing images of his home. But the photo they're working from is the very large kitchen knife, the alcohol, the pills, the machete, yeah. and the weapon that's in the box. Yeah. There appear to be numerous weapons at the property, including some form of firearm. I believe that the criteria for deployment of air, air foes is met in order to, for, for officers to protect themselves and other members of the public from a person that is otherwise so dangerous and also is in possession of a firearm. Control have given them the nod to advance. All right, everyone happy? Yeah. And we're yeah. Trying, trying to... Yep. Oh, it's 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 and with eyes in the sky airborne, the interceptors roll out. We're just going to go and get the address uh, contained as best we can without being too obvious that we're there. Lewis has had 13 years on the force and is one of the best shots in the unit. He likes a country stroll. Unit ARVS armed. That's the armed police. Preferred. But tonight will be no walk in the park. Just approaching the address. It's up here, it's up here, it's up here. Oh, there it is, got it, yeah. We'll stop. Yeah, it's behind that house, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, don't forget, since we on the, on the, on the, on the, um, dang, I'm lost in my train of thought. Don't forget, man, the people in here watching the live, y'all are the first responders. Y'all are the first responders, man. Hit that like button. It's important. If it's not important to y'all, just know it's important to, to me. I think it's important. And if y'all mess with me, then hit the like button for me. I appreciate it. The plan is to contain the address from a distance to avoid spooking the suspect, while negotiators communicate with him by phone. We've got a drone covering the air, so if anything does happen, we have got a heads up with the drone. Advantages of the drones to the helicopter is they're a lot more discreet. There's been no sign of the suspect, and negotiators have been unable to contact him. Can I ask you to move? There is no reply on the phone at the moment. A message has been left. Concerns are mounting 
As night draws in, they may be forced to break cover. If the subject is to come out of the address, then you are to consider your safety and that of the public, and you're to look for suitable escape routes. This is intense. Oscar one to earth, see if you can start moving forward. My bad, if y'all see me looking down, I gotta, I'm paying attention, but I also got a sports bet going on, and I need two more points to win. And we've got 17 seconds left of the game. The time for discretion has passed. I've now uh, taken the negotiators off the job. Tracked by the drone, firearms officers surround the house. Come on. Yep, come on. Anyone inside can't fail to be aware of their presence. Yeah, they know they're here. I think I may have saw something, but I can't remember. So it might have been something shadowing outside, that's all. But I did see something move, whether it was inside or outside, I can't tell you. With automatic weapons trained on the door, Lewis and Bruce edge closer to make contact, protected by bulletproof Kevlar shield. All right, we can, we can focus now. We got the two points. Anyway. Hilts. Close. Shadowing outside, that's all. But I did see something move, whether it was inside or outside, I can't tell you. With automatic weapons trained on the door, Lewis and Bruce edge closer to make contact, protected by bulletproof Kevlar shields. Like Call of Duty right now. Mr. Police, come to the door. Come to no harm. Retreat back. Right Nothing. No contact mode. The uh, white door is uh, secure, it's locked. Someone's there. It's the police, fella. Good you all right, mate? Good Come you to the door. Me. Me. At least they know he's alive. We'll see, that's fine. Went back in. Look looked like he just woke up. Oh, police! Come to the door. You'll come to no harm. You just want to make sure that you're all right. You just get swatted. If you can hear me, come to the door. You will come to no harm. And somebody will help you. The door's opening. Just come to the door. We can talk to you. We can get you some help if you need some help. We're not, we're not here to hurt you, mate. We just want to make sure that you're all right. He hardly looks a threat, but interceptors don't take suspects at face value. Walk out front, no one's gonna get hurt. Everything's fine. Nobody's gonna get hurt today. Go away. Very we still need to have a chat with him. We still need to have a chat with you, mate, and then we can sort it out, can't we? We don't want this to drag on and turn into something that it doesn't need to be. Door shut. He's not locked it though, not oh. No, he didn't think he's locked it. It's a chance to storm the property before he can harm himself or others. But he's back at the door. We hopefully will later, but we need to do our job properly. Yo. I, this was not expected. <laughs> subject is to come out of the address, then you are to consider your safety and that of the public. Interceptors have been called to the home of an armed man who's threatening to kill himself. No way. They've surrounded the property and are negotiating with the suspect. We just need to sit and talk to you and make sure that you're OK. But the man's taken his life in his hands. Shots fired! In the blink of an eye, he's raised a pistol, fired, and retreated inside. Yeah, buddy, that's the biggest mistake you could have made, playing with the police like that. Now they know you armed and dangerous. You're not just armed, you armed and dangerous. You were willing to blow that mug. Ugh. Interceptors had a split sight. second to decide whether to return fire. That was a small crack, wasn't it? Yes, yes. It was, but... There was a flash. Firearms officers' expert analysis is that the discharge was a blank, but no one can be sure. We cannot 
Can not confirm there's a blank fire. It's a finely balanced situation. He's put a, a message on social media. Hold on a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Uh, declaring his intentions. Uh, he's announced that we're here. So he's got armed police on his driveway. Um, and that his intention is uh, to get himself killed. They must treat the suspect carefully while protecting... That's, that's D-E-A-T-H by... by police. That's basically a... Y'all get what I'm... Y'all hear me. The, by the police. At the police. See, this is the thing, man. This is how I gotta applaud, like, the way the UK be doing stuff. Like, it's a lot more patience, a lot more training, that it seems. Protecting themselves and the public. So they train less lethal baton guns, as well as conventional oh, rifles, on the house. Smithy, I've got baton behind you as well. Baton, baton guns fire plastic rounds that can drop a man at 25 metres, but spare him serious injury. I've got a gun on this side of the car. I'm conventional. Like being bad. They aren't certain the man's pistol is blank firing. And news comes in that muddies the water further. Oh. Yes, yes. The subject's uh, been in contact with our negotiators. And he said to them, basically, that um, if he was to come out, he to come out of the property. It'll come out all guns blazing, and that he has got access to an illegal firearm within there. We can't substantiate that at the minute. Lights, 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 movement, movement, movement. Where? Front door. Shots fired. Someone's fired. The suspect has discharged his pistol again and vanished. Lit by an ominous full moon, the siege enters its fifth hour as reinforcements arrive. Kano and Norgi. Dude, I'm talking like, look at the patience of this. Fifth hour? Yeah. They take over from... Uh... They're doing everything they can to not take, you know what I'm saying, to not do that. Uh, Paul Charles with them. Including interceptor Dan Machin. It's all right, boss. It's all right, it's all right mate. It's been a long night and tension is running high as the suspect opens the door for a third time. Armed with a roll of Andrex. Just shut that toilet all behind you. He surrendered. I need that because you're going to sell with that crappy paper. You've got the toilet paper like a white flag. I get it. Right. Put your hands up, mate. Stay where you are, just a second. He appears to be unarmed, unharmed, and completely compliant. Put your hands up where they can see you. They'll not tell you what to do. But the cops are taking no chances. Turn around, put your hands in the small of your back. Keep them there and we'll move forward and handcuff you. Do you understand? Yeah. You've got taser. Twin tasers light him up. Coming forward now. Don't make any sudden movement. Man, I'm. Hey, listen, I ain't never been so proud of police work, and I ain't even like. But this is like above and beyond the call of. Because after those two blanks, they had every right to do what they had to do to protect themselves and get back to their family. But hey, they was patient. They made the right choices. They training paid all. Like, hey, salute, <laughs> salute. Stay right there for me. Right. And he's nicked. Right. Thank you. Oh, mate. Come and talk to you. While the suspect is taken away to get help, yeah, two officers entering the property now. Uh... Dan and fellow firearms officers move in to secure the property. Now, there's your firearm. We're not going to examine it now, but it does look like a, a blank fire. You can see on the side of the box, it's an 8mm blank. Um, but Someone points that at you. You can't tell from first glance if it's uh, genuine or not, and we've got to take it as a uh, genuine until we know otherwise. Guns and knives aside. Yeah, sharp, small dagger. This couldn't look more like an innocent slice of suburbia, complete with solarium. Oh, there you go. 
and potting shed. Yes, we've got a big grow. Or pot shed, to be more precise. Mm. We've got about 30 plants, small. It's a very professional setup. It's a prime example of what what goes on behind closed doors and what you don't know is uh, we thought on the face of it, he was a upstanding, good member of society, uh, never been in bother with the police before. Nice house, family, kids, wife. No. He, he let y'all see exactly what he wanted y'all to see. He was under the radar. The sort you'd expect to do this. Shots fired! That's the first time that's happened to me, an incident where uh, someone has fired a weapon. The, the bang, the flash, a wee bit scared when it went off, yeah. And anyone would be, it was quite hairy, even though... I was shocked watching, so... It was a blank fire. The weed farmer of suburbia pleaded guilty to possession of an imitation firearm and possession with intent to supply. He got 20 months behind bars. If it wasn't for the split-second decision-making of armed interceptors, it could have ended very differently. And that's the difference, man. Training is important, man. I like this. I like this method from the UK, and I can't say that I don't. I wouldn't. For some towns in America, it would work, but for some, I do think the the regular police do need their weapons. But for some smaller towns, this might work. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast when you're an interceptor. Okay, go. Please! Stay with us! Stay still! Please! But everyone deserves a tea break. <laughs> Though theirs rarely last long. Oh, yeah, we've got holders. Rob's got coffee. Dan's got a bag of salt and vinegar chipsticks. But duty calls. Five two. What's it done? Oh, something. Did I? Hear? An uninsured Citroen has failed to stop, and there it goes. That's it. That's it. Go on, go on, go on. Hold on to your lattes. We have lift off. Runaway Citroen has a local cop on its bumper, but Rob and Dan are itching to take the lead. Four, five, two. We are second in the stick behind the response vehicle. Um, if they are listening, can they uh, disengage and we'll take over? Dan's trained in everything from anti-ambush driving to close Just protection firearms. Out. He's an all-action interceptor who leads from the front. For 5-2, we are second the stick. Um, vehicle in front, do you want to pull in and let's uh, resume? Leaving the local unit to take up a tactical position. Yeah, it's got him. The pursuit specialists move into the driving seat. Get off the yeah, just trying to get in there from 5 2. We're now pursuit command. Uh, we have the subject vehicle, agree with all the uh, pursuit um, considerations so far. But it's yes, it is a right, right, right on two. London Road, speed is. If I could watch every single episode and every single of this on YouTube, I would. Because I, I. Like, this is one of the best shows that I've watched. It's the most engaging, it's clearly the most entertaining for me. Like, I was dead sleepy before I started this. Like, I didn't think I would go make it through. <laughs> Two fives, it is uh, we'll make it. low risk. 300 horsepower X5 versus 100 horsepower Saxo. Place your bets, folks. Right, right, right. On to uh, standby. Beaver Road, Beaver Road. Speed 3 0, approaching the junction. It is a left, left, left. Lowfield lane, advanced driver, super vehicle, T pack, and uh, stinger. Again, a further left, it's within the estate. It's uh, Manners Road, approaching the uh, main road, a further left, left, left. The 
the drivers doing laps of an estate. Pushing green ATS. So but it is a right, right, right on two. And coffee's going cold. Occupants is a adult white male aged approximately 40 years. He's taking big risks. Can you come Ooh, it is a contact? And may have clipped an oncoming car. Hey, this is one of the most spicy episodes I ever watched. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This one of the this, this got to be the most lit episode that we've seen. Never been a bit of contact with a black BMW, didn't get the red, but we are pinfold lane approaching Main Street again. The runaway's now on his fifth circuit of the estate, and Rob thinks he knows why. I think it's my is he waiting for the rest of the community to come out or something? Looking for deep. He knows why. I think it's Mark looking for deep. The driver may be planning to bail out. If he lives that long. Indicating right, the Saxo swerves left, right in front of a passing car. The driver's gambling with his life. It is going at high risk Love through it. the red ATS. No deviation, it is straight on onto continuation of Main Street. And with all this red light roulette. ATS straight through, it's on high risk. They've got to get him stopped. John, you've got stuck in it behind you. Ready for decom. Ready for decom. He's out. And eventually running in the worst getaway outfit in history. He got on neon orange with the with the reflective stripes like. Nice. Rob's out of the blocks too. But makes way Wait, it stop it, stop it. for German Shepherd Quantum. Go on, Jim. In here, in here. Go on, Jim. The suspects fled towards some flats, but is he inside or out? Is there? Yeah, is there? Yeah, is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on the ground! Get on the he ground. won't get down. Get on the ground! Big mistake. Get on the floor! 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 Get your dog off then, please. Please, it's fine to move on. If you stand still, you'll be okay. Quantum's done his job. Get on, back! But the suspect isn't making things easy. Stop resisting! W Quantum. Where's Ant Man? Finally, he's in cuffs and under arrest. Subject is secure. But it's still pandemonium. Hey, go away. Get inside. Go away. Thanks to local interference. It's all over, yeah? Mate, can you see what's happening? Go inside. Buddy, listen to me. Go inside. Stop making this worse. You're making it worse. Relax. It's all over, yeah? Yes. It's all over. It's all over. Oh. Good work. Peace at last. Chill, yeah? <laughs> Look at Quantum in the cut. <laughs> over, yeah? Oh, yes. It's all over. It's all over. Oh. <laughs> Bro, looking like I can't wait to tell the guys when I get back to the kennel what's up. <laughs> Told, dude. Like he gonna get away from big Quantum. Good work. Peace at last. Chill, yeah? No injuries. Stand up. <laughs> As the high vis kid lights the way to the car, they still don't know why he took off. What was all that about? I've just bought the car and I didn't know what to do. Honestly, I didn't. Didn't know what to do. You pull no. over. He says he just bought the car and didn't know how to react to blue lights. Honestly, I'm sorry. It also turns out he hasn't got a full license or insurance. Wait, listen to me. The cuffs are going to come off so we can have a look at your arm. There's more cops here. In a Don't do this. What's going on? What's going on? Fleet. 
while protecting themselves and the public. So they train less lethal baton guns as well as conventional. Good thing I looked to see where I was. Oh, okay. I don't know what I just happened. Oh, yeah. Well, you could have killed someone, didn't you? They need to check he's not injured. Right, we're just going to check his arms up there, right? right? Which one was it? His left? I'm squeezing now. All oh, right, sorry. sorry. Considering his non-compliance, he got off lightly. It's just freezing, it's not even break the skin. It's more, yeah. a good pad pad of jacket, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just trying to find my clues because my missus is pregnant and she can't get back in the arse if... Who I'm can't? Here. My missus, she's pregnant. Literally got 20 days left. Baby drum. And she needs to get back in and the arse. You've gone and done this 20 days before your missus gives birth? Mate, there's something wrong with you. And something wrong with the car. Well, guess where you're going, buddy? You're going to jail. <laughs> we know that car stolen. That's a dinger. Striker. Found just a very, very small amount of what uh, believes to be cannabis in the uh, in the centre console of the vehicle, as well as a uh, cannabis grinder. I just didn't know what to do, officer. Pull over. Mm. If we pull over, we'd be speaking to you know, for probably five you minutes. You lost your car, yeah, but you're losing your car anyway. And you're not going to have one in the next five, are you? And a dog. Despite his coat, he's not the brightest. Uh, that's a W narrator. It felt very fortunate in the end to have Jen right behind us, you know, right at the last minute, mm. to uh, offer that dog support. And yeah, we uh, we found him. Not that it's too challenging to find someone in a, uh, a fluorescent orange jacket. <laughs> the future isn't bright for Mr. Orange. The dangerous driving, driving without a full license, no insurance, and possession of cannabis. The driver got a total of four months behind bars and was disqualified from driving for three years. For some reason, every time I watch this and all the sentencing, it seems so light compared to what this would have been in, the U in America. On reflection, it wasn't the greatest escape Quantum's faced. We'll stay in the car, let Jen and the dog um, go after it. The dog can't read, police on our backs, and um, we don't want to be taken out by a uh, 30 kilo dog. Yeah. Quantum Blessing did the hard work for us. Thank you very much. That's a fact. That dog don't know who to get. Whoever running, if I see the dog, I'm staying in the car. Um, no, sir, please. But he's not doing the paperwork. <laughs> he's not doing the paperwork. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Chop, chop. There's just time for cold coffee and chip sticks. Hold on, Rob. Hold on, down. You got something down your pants? Still to come. No. I don't know. Dealing. Was the first four. Nottinghamshire was the first force outside London with a dedicated knife crime team. These are designed for one thing and one thing only, and that's putting the fear of God into someone, I think. They focus not just on knife crime, but on the crimes that trigger it. Quantity of. Cannabis that's believed to be for supply. Joe Riley and Ken Tinley are en route to help arrest a suspected dealer. Experience tells them that knives and drugs go hand in hand. That's this weed. The suspect was stopped because okay, Paul Blart. his intelligence linked his car to drugs. Oh, beautiful. Intelligence that appears to be correct. Got uh, a few ounces of uh, cannabis and a significant amount of cash has been recovered as well, uh, and the other tools of the trade, mobile, mobile phones, digital scales, and the like. He's been arrested for uh, possession with intent to supply, and we've also uncovered a knife now as well. It's a typical stop. Last year, the team seized a total of 5,881 grams of cannabis worth almost £60,000. But they don't just rely on intel. The team are also experts in reading behaviour. And back on patrol with Dan Mottishaw, Joe reads this cyclist as a wrong mm. Still sucks. 
the UK they got stop and search too, right? They just feel like it. Or they suspect The suspects it. made a sharp exit through the park. Mm, he's now cycling across the field, though. Yes. And the Spidey Sense is going gangbusters. You're near the left. Spidey Sense is going gang. Been to the state. We're just looking at a lad. I didn't think he was that bothered until we turned around. He's gone across the playing field on a bike to get away from us. Uh, he's going to come out like Stewart Street. I don't know if anybody knows that. If you go parallel to that road... Stand by. The suspect has agility, but interceptors have the numbers. Young white lad on a Boardman bike, mountain bike. Um, black coat, grey stripe on it, grey hood up. No, he's there, Time to cut him off. Pull down there. Pull down there. Just pull over there. He's making off. Yo, come here, come here, come here. Leaving Joe to go man v bike, Dan moves to cut off his escape. Man v bike. Pedal powers trumped. What? what? <laughs> Taking a light jog. He was never catching that much. Pedal powers trumped foot power, so it's back in the passenger seat. Go, go, go. go. And toe down. Where's the hell man going when he come off? It's going to go to it. Ken's got in front of them in a car ahead. Yeah. Where's that, how's that car? I don't know, mate. As the suspect swerves into the cemetery. Grave error. Yeah, stuck in here now. Hey, this is one of the best pun mans I ever heard of the, as a narrator. May he rest in cuffs. <laughs> I don't know what you're chasing me for. Why don't you stop when you can find out, don't you? You've been detained for a search, mate, all right. Yeah, of course. With Interceptor's help, the cyclist rises from the grave. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got something on your shunts, Av? What? You got something on your shunts? Yeah, a little bit of weed in this one pocket. Yeah. Is that Zoom's why worth. you didn't stop for it, eh? Yeah, a oh. zoo's worth. I mean, then honestly, a bit of weed in this one pocket. Oh. Is that why you uh. didn't stop for it, eh? Yeah. Who this? Ma'am? For some reason, I got like a thing for lady cops. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I just moved to Miami and all of the cops are women. Like 90, 80% of the cops are women and they like, look like America's next top model. Like they different. Yeah, as he's worth. I mean, they're honest. Yeah. He's coughed up to carrying a smidgen of cannabis, but took big risks for a small amount. Your behavior is not consistent with somebody who's not doing Yeah, yeah, I don't mind, you can search me. If you insist. Oh, it's not in the inside pocket. Inside, that's right. Yeah, there's someone in there. There's someone in there, is there? Yeah. Was it, was it worth it over a zoo? I thought you were going to knock me off my bike. Who was? Uh, it was you. I was Wait, scared not, you got me. Blue lights telling you to stop. When police put on, the, put on their blue lights or point to you and say stop, it means stop. It doesn't mean ignore us. An initial search turns up just a few grams of weed. It's not even enough to be arrested for, I know that. <laughs> no, it's not. He's talking too much. <laughs> it's not, is it? All that for that, eh? Yeah. The full search may take a while. How many bottoms you got on, mate? Yeah, I'll take them off. I've got yeah, four on. Four, four bottoms. Four first bottoms. And underneath the team's fourth layer, a fifth. You got something down your pants, mate? No. I, I dropped my kegs in all this one. I do a squat right in front of you now, I don't mm. care. Thanks, but we'll pass. He's offered up a tiny bit of cannabis. Literally, that is everything um, that he, they offered up. But people normally do offer up a little bit, uh, try and put us off the scent. Drugs are Joe's pet peeve. As part of the knife crime team, he's at the sharp end of the war against them. He knows all the tricks. What's that? And he's called this one right. Personal use. Well, what is it? What is it? What? what is, is it? it? One, one dark. Heroin. One dark. Yeah, I okay. forgot I had that on me. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. He seems desperate to drop his trousers. Yeah, I'll, start, I'll just say I'll strip for you, didn't I? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, if you want to start putting my trousers down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it here, mate. Yeah, no need to frighten the dead. That's what we're going to be looking at. Well, I don't mind, but I'll do it here. We can't do it here, mate. That's what I mean. That's it. Can do. <sighs> 
Lance Armstrong Jr. was wheeled off to the Nick. <laughs> Lance Armstrong, hey, yeah. Where he finally got the chance to strip. He was given a caution for possession of heroin and cannabis and sent on his bike. The driver stopped earlier with the bag of weed was charged for possession with intent to supply and possession of a bladed article. He awaits his day in court. Nottinghamshire interceptors police more than 800 square miles, but they'll happily bag bad guys from further afield. Criminals do make the assumption that if they commit a crime in one area and go into a different, uh, a different county, that they're going to remain undetected by that police force. Definitely not the case anymore. We've got great use of uh, a national NPR network, We've got the police national computer, so you really can't hide by going across county anymore. It's early afternoon and interceptors Phil Broughton and Spencer Pugh are tracking a silver Merc. This vehicle is wanted for a shop theft at Pontypridd. The car from Birmingham has been pinging ANPR cameras all over Derbyshire, South Wales and now Knott's Interceptors patch. No, so we'll be coming down here. Yeah. Nothing in the UK. Its like occupants match the description of a group. They got like a crazy network to like the net of how they can catch you is just wild. The teenagers suspected of shoplifting. Oh, I see it. And there they are. Just gone offside to offside with it, um, Diamond Avenue at Kirkby. The vehicle is uh, four up, two uh, male front seat passengers and it's possibly two females in the rear. It's reversing into a car parking space. We're going to go for a block once it's in position. Phil is an advanced driver and a master of TPAC. He plans to wait for backup in order to box the suspects in. It's in position now. But by reversing into a space, they've done three quarters of the job for him. As they say in Pontypridd, tidy. Now, chap, just pass your car keys. Yes. No worries. Can I ask you all to stop in the car for me and not move? I did ask you. Can I ask you to get out for me? All right, no problem. Put your handbrake on. Leaving the passengers to Spencer. You stay in the car for me. Phil takes care of the driver. Pass on to uh, tactical firearms commander that I uh, have just got no. Right. So who, can't, who, do, who owns the car? It's a one of friends of... A friend of yours? Yeah, I'm from Birmingham. You're from Birmingham, are you? What's your first name? Ronaldo. R... O... N... Yeah. A... L... M. L, yeah. D-O. Ronaldo. You know, if you're going to be lying to the police, it turns a minor traffic offence into something more serious. So, I'm going to ask you to think about it. All right. And then I'm going to ask you again... And what I'll say to you is, if, you, if I find out any details that you've given to me which is misleading, then ultimately you may be looking at a more serious offence. So, who, who are you? Ronaldo, Messi, Eric Cantona. What's your name? My name? Yes. Just think about what I've just said to you. What I have to do, my name? Yes. What is your name? So, who's Ronaldo? Oh, he plays up front for Juventus. Good right foot, full driving licence. How about you? I know you haven't got a licence. I'm not daft. And he's been involved in a recent shot theft. Which appears to have been caught on CCTV. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. He's wearing the exact same coat still. <laughs> yeah, he's not wearing his shades. Definitely, then. Have you guys been to Wales recently? Ooh. Wales? Wales, yeah. Got you on camera in Wales. Well, we know what you're up to. London. You're at stealing. It's That's pretty... Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. CCTV of you. All right. Doing it in South Wales. A search of the passengers reveals a unique fashion sense, 
a split skirt that gives access to hidden pockets. See what I mean, look. Put your bag down. Pocket there. Drops into a skirt underneath. You can see all the, the stolen goods underneath the long skirt. Jump back in. She's had been moved in the Shoplifters are known to... Never seen nothing like that. That's new to me. ...make use of secret pockets, but there's no sign of stolen property here. So, Spencer pops the boot. Stolen razor blades. Still got the tags on it. Those razor blades, for instance, they retail for about £35 each, and there's about 10 of them. Beautiful products, like lotion, razor blades. Spencer's looking for the blade. lotion again. All right, then. Time to break the good news to Phil. And as I've been... Got a boot full of uh, Nick razor blades and suntan lotion and other bits and pieces in there. Right. All the stuff that's in the boot of your car, where's that from? Yeah, blue ID. What is All the stuff in the boot of your car. Razor blades, sun cream, where's all that from? But how have you bought it? If you've got no money on you, no wallet, no cards. Where's your card? While the driver tries to explain where the security tagged booty came from, it's moved to the Beamer, ready to be reunited with the shops from which it was stolen. They do all that, they get the money, they... Oh, Lovely. That makes sense, actually. I don't know. Thank you. And the passengers are snapped for South Wales Police. Well, the vehicle's going to be seized today, most definitely. We're going to be taking some ID, pictures of yourself with your clothing, okay. and then at some point, I feel that South Wales will be wanting to speak to you. The other part of this is you're going to be reported for two offences, driving otherwise in accordance with a licence and driving without insurance. You got no insurance? No. Really? No. Bye bye Mercedes. You know if you got insurance or not. What are you doing? What are you talking about? And there will be a cost for every date it's in storage and a flat fee of £150 for its recovery. How much? £150. If after 14 days the vehicle's not been recovered, it will be disposed of, i.e. crushed. 150? Right. A final photo shoot for the artist formerly known as Ronaldo. Cool. Thank you very much. And the Birmingham Four are free to make their way back to Brum. We got what? Train station is that way to get to Nottingham. And then obviously you'll have to get yourself is to... They head off, tails and secret bloomers between their legs. I've not seen that before, where you've got sort of a, a fake pocket underneath the skirt where you can put items uh, and disguise it. But I that's so that we can walk around the shop picking up... That's new to me, that's... ...items up and just putting them in. The teenagers travelling with a boot full of razors and sun cream were reported to South Wales Police, but no further action was taken regarding any alleged theft. The driver did, however, plead guilty to driving without a full licence and driving with no insurance. He got a £660 fine and six points. Still to come. He's brushing his teeth. <laughs> it's a slow night for Lisa and Lenny. But it sounds like someone's got something tasty on the boil. Jesus. No high speed pursuit for Lisa and Lenny. They get the booby prize. Helping to stop an unexciting, uninsured Nissan Micra. Full. Yeah, you, turn the engine off for me a minute. Is this your vehicle? Yes, of course it is. Well, I don't know, do I? Might not be. Yes, it is my car. This car's got no insurance or MOT on it. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, Bad, innit? What's MOT? Have you got any ID on you at all? Of course I have. Yeah, and, yeah can, you, can you pass me your ID, please? As Lenny joins the party... Hi, hey, mate. How are you? I think I've got my boy on me. The driver's no closer to producing ID. 
have you got any ID on you? Yeah. I'm, I've asked you twice. Not, hey, youth, you're all right. Yeah, I'm signed to you. Yeah. Passenger interference, then they try again. I know, um... Have you got a driving licence? Yes, but I, they, I didn't bring my wallet out, so let me think for ID. While the driver racks his brains for ID, his passenger starts throwing belongings into the street. Can you... Right, don't touch me. I'm sorry, oh my God. You come here. Do you want to put that on the path? Because these cars coming, mate. Right. I know, I'm just thinking of your safety, all right? Yeah. Leaving the driver to Lenny, Lisa takes care of his two passengers. I don't think this vehicle's going any further. All right. I'd say get your coat on and um, get sorted. No, I am. Turfing out the occupants reveals that there may be a couple of things missing from the 815 to Birmingham New Street. First class comes on the seat. There's nothing first class about that vehicle. I've never seen that in in my policing career. You ain't seen nothing yet. He's pushing his teeth. <laughs> the passengers taking the chance to indulge in some midnight dental hygiene. I feel, Are you trying to beat the test? I feel like I've just woke up in a different universe. What are you staring at? Yeah, what? What? Haven't you seen a man brush his teeth before? Oi, calm down, fella. Come on, watch it. Watching us, aren't they? Yes. It's just beyond bizarre. The bizarre mobile is being seized and the driver needs to empty it of his extensive belongings. Godfather in the back, good film, that. But it seems to have refilled with people. Can I just ask why you're getting back in the car? We need it gone. Ooh. Anyway, what's happening? No, what's really happening? I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Keep going, nothing to see. <laughs> Tell me. That's nice. No matter how chaotic a roadside stop is. Are you going to see him? Oh, no. There's always time to chase down a foul mouthed driver. Go on. Meanwhile, events on. That's not a, is that a crime? Oh, that is a crime in the UK. To say stuff to drivers, I mean the police. Planet Mike return even weirder. I live in my house. This is your house? I live, I live in my car, my... It seems he lives in his car. And if he's not careful, he'll die in his driveway. Can you do me a favour? Can you come stand and talk to me before we get run over? House. Yeah, right. I live in my house. Home yeah. sweet home. I've got to get a lift off you lot now. We're not going to take you for a lift into town, I can tell you that now. We've got loaded weapons in our cars. Yeah, we haven't got room for people. What would that do to me? What do you mean, what will it? It's a gun. What do you think guns do to you? Kill you. Well, if, if a bullet was to hit you, it, it'd potentially kill you. Yes, it is. Is it really? What is he off? He got off something. He... I thought it was just a... a... A water pistol. No, one of them... Tasers? Yeah. No, because it'd be yellow. That's in there. Is that a real gun, then? Yeah, I'm a firearms officer. Gives it go. Oh, here, here you go. <laughs> put it this way, you come near my gun and you'll be on your ass. Would I? Yes. What, would you put me on me? Yes, I would. You probably would. Yes, I would. He out here trying to test the theory. <laughs> Job before joining, she was a barista. Favourite sports woman, Tia Claire, I don't know who that is. Lisa is a super fit firearms officer. She'd have no trouble dumping the passenger on his derriere, which, coincidentally, is where he's now talking from. I don't OK. Hey, listen, mate, I'm a woman as well, you know. I'm in your league because I'm bisexual. I'm a woman. Right. I don't think that's the desired effect that he was going for. Like, wait a minute. So if these to start on you, I'd be on your side. Good. Thanks, sister. <laughs> what planet am I on? One where they take forever to empty a car. This car is no longer in the possession of you. It's in the possession of us. So I'm asking you to get out of it. What are you getting back in there for? I'm getting my property. Oh, sweet. Hurry up then. I've never known someone faff about. You just you just delaying it now. Come on, you're boring me now. Right, we're taking your car now. You've had long enough. You're gonna put it in your pocket. No, I'm gonna drive it off. Yeah. I can't do it. Have a good night. Car seized. There's just the matter of the foul-mouthed rubbernecker. 
James just called up and goes, um, the guy says he's very, very Pretty sorry. Bad. Sweet. The man they chased that man down for an apology. That's different. And from the micro was summoned for driving with no insurance and no MOT. He got a £660 fine, a £66 surcharge, six points, and a new least favourite number. Six. Meanwhile, Lisa will never forget her trip to a parallel universe. You never know who you're going to meet and you never know what people are going to do and how they're going to react. And it's different every time. And it never bores me. Tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. It's important to me. So it should be important to y'all. I'm gone.